We take uh, multiple choice questions that students did not do well on in exams, is what we, that, that we just, and we put them into the discussion board. And the student has to tell us the context of the question. What is it applied to? They have to, and then they have to falsify each answer choice. Because students come in, and what they usually do is they just pattern. You know, what do they know? And they look for the right answer. And we don't want them to do that. We want them to go through falsification. That's scientific thought. You don't confirm, you falsify. So go through each answer, falsify why it's wrong, until you get to one you can't falsify, and tell me why you can't falsify it. Then we ask them to go into the academic journals. We ask them to find use, current use. If you want to be a neuroscientist, a dentist, I don't care. Go out and find out a psychologist to find out how this science is being used in the real world by professionals, and they post about that. Um, then in the upper division course, I take all the structure away. There is no question. It's them that are, they are creating the questions. They're creating the debates themselves. Anything we say in class, because it's more, um, uh, like, it's, uh, like I said, it's an upper division theoretical class, they're allowed to question everything we say, as long as they question everything they think they know and everything else they read in the academic journals. And they come in, they have to propose counter hypotheses, they have to attempt to falsify their own counter hypotheses, and that's what the debates are all about. And I, that's what science is about. Science moves forward because of doubt and falsification, not because you went around believing what you thought you knew. <laughs> so that's kind of how we take the structure away in the upper division class.